Hey, what's up, you guys? If you have been paying attention to the China Space Station, one thing really stands out among the rest, like literally. I mean, it's impossible to not notice this. Gigantic robotic arms sticking outside the Tianhe core module. And this robotic arm is one of the only four of its kind in service out in the space. The other three amounted to the ISS, of which the most notable is the Canadarm 2 robotic arm. Robotics arm on space station played an important role in assembly and maintenance work and in facilitating all the space walks and docking mechanisms between different modules and capsules. So as big as they are, this system has the high agility levels like human arms. The robotic arm on China Space Station has seven motorized joints, allowing the machine to have seven degrees of freedom. That is one degree more than most of the advanced industrial robotic arms. That one extra degree of freedom is what allows the arm to reach and carry astronauts to virtually every component of the space station. What's more, it can move around on the mothership. Each hand the robotic arm features an identical hand, which can be used as an anchor point while the other hand carries out this task. Then when the entire arm is needed in a different location on the station, one hand will grapple one of the several fixture points on the space station's outer structure while the other hand reaches for a further point. It basically walks and over and like a slinky koi toy that was popular when I was still a kid. Well, I know the time has been kind to me. What does set China's robotic arm and its Canadian variants apart are their sizes and heavy lifting capabilities. The Canadarm 2 on the ISS is over 17 meters long when fully extended compared to China's 10 meters and China's robotic arm can handle up to 25 tons in weight of payload at a time, while its ISS competitor can do 116. Aside from his role as a construction and maintenance worker, U.S. officials are concerned that the arm can be used to sabotage American satellites in the future. Motherfucker. Well, what can I say? Technically speaking, robotic arms, no matter on the China Space Station or ISS, are quite the same. The ISS has more and longer robotic arms, but if you are obsessed with double standards, it's no longer a technological issue and more one of a trust. All right, that will do it for this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you click away. I'd greatly appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time.